All right, so now we're going to talk about the difference between strong and weak acids and bases. What does it mean for an acid or base to be strong? Well, that means that it will 100% ionize. That means it will completely break apart when it's dissolved in solution. So if, say, we had an equation, maybe you could see it easier. Well, let's look at the equation of HCl and water. HCl and H2O. Since HCl is an acid and a strong acid, it's going to donate its hydrogen to the water, and so we'll make H3O plus and Cl minus. But to be strong, to be 100% ionized, that is, if the concentration of HCl was 0.1 molar, that means that H3O plus would also be 0.1 molar, and Cl minus would also be 0.1 molar. Because 100% of this 0.1 turns into H3O plus and Cl minus. Same thing if you have a strong base. Let's say you have NaOH. So that's going to dissolve in water to make Na plus and OH minus. So let's say you had a concentration of 0.1 molar NaOH. That means you'd have 0.1 molar Na and 0.1 molar OH because all of this turns into the Na and the OH minus. Okay, so what happens if you want to do a calculation? Say, find the pH or pOH of a strong acid or base. The first thing you need to remember is the formulas. Let's remember that pH is equal to the negative log of H3O+. Plus. Essentially what this is doing is taking the exponent on H3O plus and turning it into the number. So if H3O plus was 1 times 10 to the negative 3, then pH would be 3. pOH is the same thing, except for bases. So that's the negative log of OH minus. Alright, so then you can also go backwards, go reverse, and find H3O plus if you have pH. The inverse of log is 10 to the power of, so that's 10 to the power of the negative pH or OH minus is 10 to the power of negative pOH. Okay, and so how do H3O plus and OH minus compare to each other? Remember that H3O plus and OH minus multiply together to give 1 times 10 to the negative 14. That is the K of water. It was 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So then by taking the log of that, you end up with pH and pOH add up together to give you 14. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is just try some calculations. All right, what is the pH, pOH, H3O plus, and OH minus of a 0.01 m HCl solution? First thing you need is a balanced equation. HCl and water will make H3O plus and Cl minus. So if the HCl is 0.01 molar, that means H3O plus is 0.01 molar and Cl minus is 0.01 molar. So I guess the first thing I know is H3O plus. Now I need to find pH. pH is the negative log of H3O plus. The negative log of 0.01 is equal to 2. So pH equals 2. Then I need to find pOH. That seems like the next easiest step. pOH and pH add up to 14. So pOH is equal to 14 minus 2, which is 12. And the last thing I'm looking for is OH minus. So I can find OH minus from pOH, or I can find it from H3O plus. That is, OH minus can be 1 times 10 to the negative 12 because it's 10 to the negative pOH from over here. Or it can be OH minus is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by H3O plus, which is in this case 0.01, and that will again equal the same answer. Let's try another example. What is the pH and pOH and H3O plus and OH minus of a 0.01 m NaOH solution? 
this time we've got a base. But again, the first thing you're going to do is start off with a balanced equation. And AOH will completely dissolve in water to make Na plus and OH minus. So if my NaOH is 0 0.001, my Na plus is 0 0.001, my OH minus is 0 0.001, and I've already got one of my solutions. Ta-da! Okay, so it seems like the next easiest one is to find POH. So POH is equal to negative log of OH minus, in this case 0 0.001. That is 3. Second answer... Okay, next one it seems like is pH. That seems a simple thing to do. So pH is equal to 14 minus 3, which is 11. And my last one is H3O plus. H3O plus, you can say 10 to the minus pH which is 10 to the negative 11, or 1 times 10 to the negative 11. Or you can say H3O plus is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by OH minus, or 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 0 0.001, and you're going to get the exact same answer. Okay. So how are weak acids and bases different? Well, weak acids and bases do not completely ionize. Not break up completely. This is an important point because if it does not break up completely, I cannot assume that the concentration of my acid or base is automatically the concentration of my H3O+. So a little bit more complicated equations will apply. And that about sums up at least the basic differences between strong and weak acids and bases.